And welcome back to the lab, robots. Today we are going to go into a part two of distributed inference. If you haven't seen the last video, I suggest you go watch that one first to cover it a little bit more. We're going to bring in a reason for doing distributed inference. I've seen the question of asked, why would you do that if you can just run the model on one node? Well, not all the time are you going to have the resources available on that one node. So let's take, for example, the main node in the lab, which has got six A4500s in it. So that's 120 gigabytes of VRAM total. If we're going to bring in, say, Llama 405B into the lab and see if we can get it running, with that limited of resources, there's only a couple of ways that you could pull that off. One is to not offload all the GPU layers to the GPUs because you just don't have the space. And you could use your CPU and RAM and mix that in but you're going to take the hit of the CPU and RAM, in my case, a Core i9 and DDR4 RAM. It's going to be a bit slower. Even if we start to talk about a quantized version of Llama 3.1, just to give everyone a quick look, the memory requirements for Llama 3.1 405B, if you were running it in straight FP16, is 810 gigabytes. FP8 would be 405 gigabytes. If you wanted to go down to do int4, that's 203 gigabytes. As we go and take a look at this, even if we go and grab, say, the quantized versions in GGUF format to make it all easy on us, the Q2, Q3, and Q4 may be in the range, but I don't think so. So let's take a full look at just how big these are. A Q2 in flat file is about 151 gigabytes. The Q3 is 197.47 gigabytes. The Q4KM, guys, that's 245 gigabytes. Hey, even me in this lab, I don't really have that type of GPU VRAM resources, but I think we can get Q2 running at a very low context, even on that single node, but we're going to have to split it down to the CPU and the memory and use some of that on top of the six A4500s to get it running. Instead of doing that, you could do distributed right so i can't fit well i can fit one more video card if i wanted to in that node but i can't fit enough resources uh within my budget that is let's be clear about that i don't have much of a budget and kind of blew it on building most of this lab as it is to actually get one single node that has enough vram resources to run this gigantic of a model we're going to look at q2k today and then we could do distributed across the board and bring in other machines with GPUs, add more and more VRAM in there and see how that does. Let's go ahead and take a decent look at what we're doing today just so everyone remembers from the last video. This is distributed inference that comes as part of Llama CPP and it gets included with local AI. I suggest you go read the documents if you want to figure out how to do this all yourself. I will put together some videos as we go later on down the road but today we're just going to finish off some testing so you can do this uh, just to give everyone a reminder this is going to be a main host that has its own GPUs and then we're going to add in other hosts as we go down the road to give you a much better picture of what we're looking at today my main node it is got six A4500s at 20 gigabytes each these are directly connected for PCIe it has 10 gigabit networking in it and this is basically running as a single pod inside Kubernetes that has all six of those GPUs accessible by it. My other Kubernetes node, we are splitting this today into what we're considering four workers. And each of those workers has one GPU. Three of them have 4060 Ti 16 gigs. And then there's going to be one 3090 24 gigabyte thrown into the mix. This will be based over a 2.5 gigabit network. Okay, let's uh, just jump right into the testing today. First off, let's check the model and make sure that we're going to be set to offload all the GPU layers off, of course. And just a quick reminder, here's our worker nodes in the swarm. 
and the distributed inference that we're talking about. And again, just a quick reminder, this is what we're looking at. Six GPUs attached to the main node and then the four different worker nodes over the network. All right, let's uh, go ahead and take a quick look. Again, reminder, you can do this yourself through local AI. And we have the swarm going. Let's go ahead and get this test started. Go ahead and type in a name. Llama 3.1 405B Q2K Distributed. And we're not going to skip the first result because we want to know how long it takes. We're doing a hundred token static prompt. Let's get this started so that we can whip into this because this is probably going to be one of the longer tests we've had to run. There you can see it loading up on the main node already. It's going to fill up the host memory and then start to offload it all to the GPUs. You can see the worker nodes down there are already getting some VRAM used up. This is going to take a while because remember we're doing this across the network. So let's go ahead and get set up with some of our metrics. Down here off to the left, this is Grafana and Prometheus. We are going to be watching some of the network metrics once this catches up. This is going to lag behind our live tests over there. So just remember that this is going to catch up eventually, but it's going to be a few minutes. Uh, in the middle here, we have NV top running on both nodes so that we can watch the live metrics. Over here, we have the Grafana and Prometheus metrics coming from DCGM exporter. That way, we can actually watch the total VRAM used across the board, some of the PCIe traffic, the, the GPU utilization, the power usage, and so on. All right, so it's definitely still going to be loading up for a little while. Let's go ahead and I will kick this into a bit of fast forward mode because you guys don't want to sit here and let it load. Uh, if we can, we'll put a, I'll let you guys know how long it took. All right, looking like we're got to be about there. Got to be about there. And that took about so far mm, about 10 minutes across the network to load this model up. Let's uh, wait for it to see if it comes in and starts. Yep, there it goes. All right, this is Llama 3.1405B at a Q2 quant running in a distributed mode with four workers and the server. So five total nodes, 10 total GPUs going on it. How does it feel to you guys? Doesn't look too terrible to me. This is a gigantic model look over there. Right now it's using about 177 gigabytes. I assume that'll go up just a little bit more. We can see about 740 watts across all those GPUs. I assume that will also go up a little bit more. Uh, the metrics don't look to have caught up with the test running yet. So just hold on to your hat for those. What do you guys think? How does this feel to you? This is Llama 405B. You can see it cranking across all the GPUs there. Not bad, not bad. It exceeds my expectations. There would really be no other way for me to pull this off, at least in my lab, or for most of the home lab users, except for offloading it to RAM and using your CPU, which is going to be much slower than this. I would say about half the speed of whatever this turns out to be. See the network starting to settle down now after it's loaded out. We'll click over to some more metrics through all of this. It's really looking pretty decent though. Power cranking up a little bit, CPU usage or GPU usage starting to show up. Q2 
could definitely cook some eggs on all the GPUs. It wouldn't be that hard. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? What is this going to turn out to be? I think with all of my testing, this looks to be, oh, about mm, maybe two to three tokens per second, maybe lower, actually. But it's still cranking out. I know Llama 3.1405B is very verbose. So I expect the, the length of the responses to be pretty lengthy, really. In general, look over, it does look to be fairly accurate. But remember, we're not testing for accuracy here. We're just testing out a distributed inference across the network and seeing if we can get 405B running in the lab. It's definitely running. Place your guesses down below. Let me know how this goes. We'll wait and see uh, what that first result comes back at, and then we'll jump in and let these uh, 20 tests run, because this is going to be quite a while to run these. Hope you guys appreciate my power bill. And pulling off these ludicrous things like trying to run 405B in the home lab just to see. Looks like it's uh, pretty much finishing up this probably last response here. Chunking right along. We're up to almost 800 watts. There it goes, 800 watts over there. And 178 gigabytes total of VRAM used. And the first one came back at 1.97 evaluation tokens per second. All right, let's see what this gets down to and uh, jump this into fast forward. generate that report and then we'll go take a look and see how this actually did I think I saw that it ended with about 1.73 tokens per second which isn't that far off from where we started uh, let's go find it uh, there there we go all right so we can see that first one took for forever let's show the raw data and take a look just make sure yeah it looks okay all right, let's take a good look at this. Prompt evaluation time in milliseconds. Yeah, that took a long time to respond that first time, but, you know, it is. Once it gets going, it starts cranking. Let's go ahead and move over to evaluation time. Again, in milliseconds. Looks pretty decent. Total time. Yeah, that first one starting out took quite a while. There we go. Uh, prompt tokens evaluated should be the exactly 101 across the board for this model. We'll go take a look at completion tokens. Not bad. Total tokens. So it's the completion tokens plus the prompt tokens. Prompt tokens per second. Okay, it looks like it leveled out at about 32 to 33 prompt tokens per second, and then everyone is waiting for the evaluation tokens per second. Put your guesses down now if you haven't already. Okay, let's take a look. There we go, there's our finish off at, you know, just under 1.75, so it was about 1.73 tokens per second on Metalama 3.1 405B at a Q2 quant in distributed mode. 
that's not too bad. I know we always like to compare things though, so let's go ahead and compare this to Llama 3.170B from the last test so that we actually just have some more data to look at. If you remember correctly, I think we got, what, four to five, but let's go figure that out. All right, make sure we get the right two tests selected and distributed. Yeah, that looks like the right one. And then we're going to need to find the other one. And there it is. Yeah, okay. So this is same hardware, but 405B versus 70B, both in distributed mode. So we're going to do distributed 405B versus 70B. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Distributed, distributed. I should clean this out. There it is, distributed. All right, as we can see in the prompt evaluation time, Llama 3.1 405B is in blue. Llama 3.170B is in orange. And we can definitely see it took a lot longer to load that up. Let's go ahead and look at evaluation time. 3.1 on top, or 405B on top, 70B on bottom. Not too bad, not too bad guys. Total time taken. Prompt tokens per second, we can see it's 100 for 70B and 101 for 405B. Completion tokens, oh, pretty close, actually, across the board. Total tokens. Prompt tokens per second. All right, you can see, yeah, 70B, about 100, 110 token or prompt tokens per second. 405B, about, oh, you know, 38, 37, 38. Not all that surprising, not all that surprising at all. And then the final thing, the evaluation tokens per second. Everyone's been waiting for this. So orange, 70B distributed mode from our last video, pulling off about, you know, just over four tokens per second, maybe 4.2 tokens per second. 405B in blue down at the bottom, Averaging out to about 1.7 tokens per second, or evaluation tokens per second. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you learned. Tell us down there. I know this is pretty ridiculous, but hey, we had to try to pull it off at least a little bit, didn't we? And just remember, everyone loves pizza. Buy your AI pizza. Until next time, see you guys.